Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making a video all about my new hair, which is how I dyed my hair black. And I know some of you are probably watching this like, well, obviously you went and got dye and dyed your hair. Um, I mean, yes, that's true, but this is actually not permanent. This is semi-permanent hair dye, and I'm just gonna be talking all about the process and how I got it to this color, and just talk about the dye that I used, um, the process in which I did it, and um, you know, go into a little bit of the pros and cons of the actual dye. Um, in no way am I a professional. I am just a old regular Joe just um, experimenting with um, hair. So I'm sure many of you have done it before. I know there are better ways to do this and I know there are ways that could be that it could be done differently, but um, this is just what works for me. I'm open to suggestions, but please just don't be rude. I'm just, you know, I'm just telling you how I did this. You don't have to do it my way. So yeah, if you're interested in knowing how I got my hair this dark, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. So first off, the dye that I use is actually a vegetable-based dye and vegan, so there is no harsh chemicals in it, and everything in it is very, very safe to use on your hair. And semi-permanent means that it eventually fades out over time. So it's not permanent. It's not something that's going to be in your hair for, you know, forever. So the dye that I used is by Larish Directions. I'm sure many of you have heard of this brand either on YouTube or, you know, in different stores or whatever. And the color that I got is in the color Ebony. So it just looks like this. It just comes in little tubes like this. I don't know for sure how much. This is 88 milliliters of um, hair dye and I actually got two of them. So this is what I got to dye my hair um, this color. So if you are interested in, you know, purchasing this dye for yourself or, you know, seeing the site in which I got it from to see all of the other colors, I will have all of those links down in the description box for you guys. So you can kind of check them out for yourself and see what other colors that they, you know, provide. Um, if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you would know that I had hot pink hair and purple hair. I also use directions for those two hair colors as well. So I'm very familiar with this brand. I love this brand. I have had no issues with it. Um, and I'm this is just what I use. And I'm just going to be explaining what I liked about it and how I did it, things like that. So you guys can kind of get a gist in case you're kind of in a similar situation and want to do some this, the same thing that I did. I don't know if they actually changed their formula or not because when I was doing research on this dye, it said that it had a green base. Now, I don't know if they either changed their formula or updated it but when I was like swatching this and I'm going to swatch it on my hand for you guys today so I'm going to be staining my hand for you guys um, when I swatch this it looks like it has a red base and then when it fades away like when it washes away it looks like it fades down to like a blue blue green sort of color so I'm going to just take a little bit on my hand um first here's what the dye looks like in the actual tub in case any of you are wondering so it's really you know easy to work with super super creamy and I'm just going to take a little bit of that so I'm just going to take this much right here and I'm going to show you on my hand so it looks like it kind of has a dark um dark brownish red auburn kind of undertone to it so I don't know if you can see that but I tried to wipe it away as much as possible but when I look at it it looks like it kind of has like a bluish kind of blue green look like fade to it so and when I read the reviews on this it said it has a green undertone the one thing I do want to say about this dye is if you are someone who is a platinum blonde and you want to use this dye don't. <laughs> um, the reason for that is because this is a dark color and when you are a platinum blonde this color will not stick to your hair. It'll literally just go straight green. So if you are someone who is going to use this I would recommend doing it on a darker brown hair color and I'll get into that more in a second but I just don't think this would work out very well if you are a platinum. Maybe it worked for some people but I just can't see how this would possibly work on your hair. It says that it does work on bleached hair, but I just, I can't see how that would work out because I feel like it would just go straight green. So if you are um, platinum blonde, I would recommend doing a strand test first before going any further with it. Another thing is I found that this worked really good on processed hair because processed hair is a lot more damaged and a lot more porous than virgin hair. So this did work really, really well on me, but if you're someone who has virgin hair, um, just hair that has never been either 
chemi chemically treated in, other, in any way. I don't know how this would work for you either, but um, yeah, it, I just feel like it would work better on dark, porous, processed hair. Okay, so let's get into how I personally dyed my hair this color. So to begin with, I had sort of a light medium brown color that I dyed my hair a few months ago. And from it becoming summer soon, it is like the sun kind of bleached out just natural highlights into my hair. So I kind of just had that light medium brown color all over my head. And I knew I wanted to go this color because black hair has always been my favorite hair color of all time. And so basically what I did is I looked at my hair in the mirror with the, um, the hair color that I had and I noticed that some parts were a lot lighter than others, you know, just from the sun bleaching it out, you know, things like that. So what I wanted to do to make sure that um, I got an even application, I actually went to the store and bought a box of medium brown hair dye to refresh my color. Not dye my hair, just refresh it. What I mean by that is just give it a full even coat again, but not leave it on for, you know, the entire time. So I left it on for maybe about 15-20 um, minutes just to refresh the color just to make sure that I had an even base all the way around of dark brown. So after I did that I rinsed it out and I basically towel dried my hair and brushed it out leaving it still damp. When I used this dye I did not use any sort of conditioner whatsoever because I didn't want the conditioner to dilute the color at all you know what I mean? Like when I dyed my hair pink and I wanted a lighter pink I would add conditioner to it to get the color that I wanted. So hopefully that makes sense to some some of you, if you want to dilute any sort of semi-permanent dye like the Directions or Manic Panic, you can always mix it with a thick white conditioner to kind of dilute the color to get it to your perfect shade. But for this in particular one, no, I did not um, dilute it with conditioner at all. I just used it straight from the bottle. So after I got out of the shower and tiled towel dried my hair, I brushed it out so it was nice and damp. And then what I did is I took, this step is very, very important, is I took my gloves. I have a box of 100 powder-free um, latex gloves. So they just look like this. You can get them at like um, any for any sort of food stores where you can find gloves definitely pick those up So they just look like this. They're just regular latex gloves These will come in handy because as you can see the dye does stain really really well So always make sure you wear gloves when you are dyeing your hair So after I put two gloves on it's really really simple after um, I did that I just took you know with my gloves a goop of the dye and I lightly ran it through my hair so the color application was all over and nice and even. You can use a tint brush if you would like to, but I just feel like that takes up a lot of time. I knew I was going all over black, so I just took a glop of it and just evenly, as best as I could, evenly applied it throughout my hair. Hopefully that makes sense. So after it was all evenly applied, I left it on for about an hour. You can leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes, but I wanted to make sure it was really getting in there. So I left it on for an hour and then I just rinsed it off um, in the shower with lukewarm water. So I refreshed the color, rinsed that out, um, towel dried my hair so it was damp, brushed it out, and then I applied this all over my damp hair then rinse that out an hour later and that's how I got this color. I do have a couple complaints about this dye in particular. The number one thing that I notice is it takes forever, forever to rinse out of your hair when you're done. So when I, when the hour was up, I got back in the shower, turned on lukewarm water and I let it rinse. I seriously have my head under the faucet for like 10 minutes and it was just gooping just die the entire time. I don't even think I finished rinsing it out the first time because I was just in there for so long. So it does take forever, forever, forever to get this fully rinsed out of my hair after I do dye it. Another thing is that it stains very easily. All the other dyes um, that I used from Directions did stain, yes, but not as quickly and as bad as this. Like if you get a little bit of this on your counter and you quickly wipe it away, there's going to be a little stain. So this does stain pretty pretty bad, um, so just really be careful of that and be cautious. Um, it does wash off your hands, obviously, but it will take a couple days to do that. Another thing I noticed is that it does fade pretty quickly. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on video, but um, it did fade quite a bit on the root area where I really kind of wash it. 
So it up here is a little more of a dark brown and then it kind of goes down into the black. Um, so it does fade pretty quickly and another thing I noticed is that every time I do take a shower there is tons of dye at the bottom of the shower. So the shower water it's usually always filled with black dye. So it is very very messy. This is the probably the messiest dye I have used from Directions but I was very happy with it. I really liked the results and I will continue to use this until I've used it all up. Um, one thing I did like about it is that it was very pigmented. My whole entire head I only used half a tube. So that is awesome. I loved how pigmented it was. A little bit goes a long way. Really, really liked that about the dye as well. But that's basically how I dyed my hair this color. Again, like I said, I was super, super happy with the results. I really, really like having dark hair. Um, a lot of people don't think it suits me, but you know, I really don't care what other people think because this life is for me and making myself happy. So... That's what I did. I went and made myself happy and dyed my hair dark. I really like it. You guys don't have to like it. I'm not asking you to. I'm just saying, I really like it. Here's kind of what the results look like. Um, the last time I dyed this was over a week ago. So I wanna say a week and a half ago, and I have not dyed it since. So here's kind of what it looks like a week and a half later. I am going to be touching it up at the end of the month just to kinda of refresh it and get the spots that kind of faded out. But yeah, here's what it looks like. So it's kind of like a blue-black color I'm noticing. But, um, you know, that's fine with me. I really, really like it. So hopefully this video helped you in some way if you are looking to go kind of a dark color, but you don't want to commit to permanent dyes. This is definitely the way to go. Typically, these last um, in your hair for about six to eight weeks, longer if you wash your hair less. So it will eventually wash out. If you are in a rush to get it washed out, scrub your hair with head and shoulders. It works really, really well, I've noticed. That's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful if you are looking to do something like this. This is just how I did it and it worked well for me. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a huge, huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe down to my channel. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!